online and on your smart speaker. The Havel Jolly Inn from 25990, now at Mildura Motor Holdings. Hit News Briefing. Hey there, it's Matt Layton with you. Tension flares between the Liberals and Labor as Peter Dutton accuses the Prime Minister of misleading the public on border security. The opposition leader claims a recent asylum seeker boat arrival exposes flaws in Operation Sovereign Borders, contradicting the PM's assertions. I think the government absolutely has got all sorts of problems at the moment because it's clear that they don't have the same surveillance in place that we had when we were in government. It's inconceivable that a boat of this size, carrying 40 plus people, could make it to the mainland without there being any detection. Heavy rain and storm threats continue across northern Australia. Ex-cyclone Lincoln may redevelop near Western Australia midweek, but first brings more soaking to Queensland and the Northern Territory. Thunderstorms are also possible in New South Wales, central and southern tablelands, with a risk of hail and flash flooding. A brutal tribal conflict in Papua New Guinea has claimed at least 53 lives ambushed in the highlands. One group was reportedly on their way to attack another when the deadly encounter unfolded. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese told the ABC he's shocked by the development and Australia stands ready to assist. We remain uh, available to provide whatever support uh, we can in a practical way, of course. Uh, to help our friends in PNG. And champion mayor Very Elegant has died following complications while giving birth to her first foal. The 2021 Melbourne Cup winner spent most of her career with trainer Chris Waller, who's called her courageous and says she'll be deeply missed. David Warner is calling for more matches between Australia and New Zealand as he prepares for his final bilateral series against the Kiwis. The 37-year-old will retire after the T20 World Cup but hopes for a stronger trans-Tasman rivalry. I was just saying, I haven't been here since 2016, I think, so it's been a wee while since we've toured here. Definitely Australia should come over here more. Um, I don't know why the reasons we haven't come over here. And Aussie tennis star Alex Dimonor has fallen short in the Rotterdam Open final, losing to reigning Australian Open champ Yannick Sinner, 7-5, 6-5. Chemist Warehouse Langtree. Open 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. Nurse on call from 6 to 10 p.m. This is hit weather. For the rest of Monday in Sunraysia, sunny and 36. And tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a low of 18 and a high of 30. And find the spy who betrayed Australia in secrets we keep. Nest of traders. Out now on the listener app.